Uh, no. Oh right, okay. So you're going to, sorry, do it that way, there we yeah. go. Okay, so let's go in. Just to save a wee bit of mud, yeah, Dad, let's pull that up. I could always cut this line, couldn't I? Cause you could, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, don't buy another line. No. Thank you. But also to build your confidence, you might be at a stage where, no, no, I'm dropping it all. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That did. Come on. Also, well, I'm just going to follow behind? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're just going to be with us. Okay, what do you guys say? Okay. Okay, so here we have Ollie. How old's Ollie? Three. Three. Um, and it'll be four. April. Four in April. So Ollie is a wee. Um, is it okay to say he's a sheep killer? We know yep, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's killed yeah. sheep before. Um, and a deer as well. He's definitely got a lot of prey drive. Yeah. But we've been spending already today teaching him remote collar. Yeah. And doing lots of conditioning with the remote collar. And um, already, just as we were coming down the lane, obviously, we're always, remember, trying to get him at the fuse before the explosion. That enables you to use lower numbers. Um, and you're taking the dog into scenarios, in this case, sheep. <laughs> which he you know, he's killed sheep before into the scenarios but with the greatest chance of success so when he goes in here so just to shh, shh, good job buddy yeah good boy good boy so there we're on about an eight right now so just him having a wee look at the sheep there i'm just still setting him up to be like just i would much rather he avoided sheep rather than chasing sheep so when we were coming down, I just kind of cut it at the fuse and went, don't go there. Okay. And now he's like, this is hard. I mean, Disneyland is right there. And he would normally be in the driver's seat. And now he's to be in the passenger seat. And he's like, what? So what I want to teach him is, listen, maybe we want you to be here with us, but leave the sheep alone. Okay. So we're going to have him walk around and, come on, dude. And, uh, and just give him more freedom. And then if you do, we'll give him some attention, direction, affection, right? So I'm going to start, because of this length of line, I'm going to start at like uh, three metres or so. Okay, Ollie, come on, dude. Good job. Oh, I saw that. We chance we bite you the poo there. <laughs> you can also use the collar, of course, to not let him do that. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of picking one thing at once. If I want him not eating the poo, I'm just going to use the leash. No. I don't really want to use the e collar for any major punishment or anything. So you can always try and use the leash as the backup as little as possible. The leash, remember, keeps things safe.
and then I maybe and I see him focusing on the sheep. So you're always trying to get him to remember to see is he in tune with you? So he's maybe then gonna we're gonna walk and then randomly as he's a wee bit in front, we're gonna walk this way. And if within a second, two seconds, he's not following, he's going out, he's we're losing his attention. So just tap tap, get him back into us. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Come on then. So if I say we an interest though isn't he? I've got my wellies on. <laughs> Oh, yes. 
Because <laughs> it was after one second. Yeah. yeah. And you can kind of tell it even before that because he started the panting. Yeah. So he's like, oh my goodness, the sheep right there. Right there, oh. Right, dude, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, I'm loving that, yeah, he's where he is, filming there, mommy's right beside you. Wonderful.